For indirect bonding, you want to make sure before you place the brackets on the model that you close all of the doors. So if you look at this model, the doors have all been closed. So assume that we've poured this up in plaster, we've painted a liquid separator medium over the plaster, we've positioned the brackets, and then we've set them with a light. And you can use just your dental light and do a three to five second set on each tooth. Or if you have a light box, if you're going to do a lot of indirect bonding, you can use a light box that simply you just slide the door closed with the light activator to set the brackets in position. Once you have those brackets set in place, you can use a variety of materials to make an indirect bonding tray. You can use a VPS opaque putty, uh, which you would need a chemical cured composite to use when you take it to the mouth. You can use a clear VPS putty, such as Memicel 2, where it's just a very, very easy application. It's got a gun that you will squirt the VPS material around the brackets um, and the teeth. And then you can also use mouth guard material. It takes some time to do that mouth guard material tray. Today I'm just going to use the hot glue gun method, which we typically use in our office. You just want to make sure you're using a non-toxic glue for, for the hot glue gun. And essentially, if you're using any of these materials, you just want to make sure you fully encapsulate the bracket with the tray material. So you'll kind of see here I'm adapting these. I'm using the tip to kind of agitate the glue a little bit so it flows in all around the brackets. And with the glue specifically, if you're using a hot glue gun tray, you want to make sure not to pull that glue tip, the tip of the glue gun, away from the brackets too many times because if you notice when I do I get this long stringy and you get these long stringy things all over the tray it just doesn't look as clean so I'm trying to do one continuous motion where I do the lingual surfaces I'm coming back around and covering the incisal surfaces and I'm going to do another continuous pass and cover the facial surfaces now for the facial I don't want to go all the way down to the gingival margin but I want to cover the incisal one-third to one-half of the tooth. And you also want to just make sure there's no holes as you've made any of those transitions. And I pull away the glue gun and you can see now I've got a glue tray that fully encapsulates the brackets.